challenge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to sinners, Christ, have mercy. You give light to those in darkness, Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you, for I, by your handmaid, whom you call to journey to you, and since she hopes and believes in you, grant that she may be led to a true homeland, to delight in its everlasting joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all died, so too in Christ all shall be brought to life, but each in proper order. Christ the first fruits, and then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, and then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father. When he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. And the last enemy is death. For he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the response be precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful one. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful one. I believe even when I said I am greatly afflicted, I said in my alarm, no man is dependable. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful one. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Is the death of his faithful one. O Lord, I am your servant, you have loosed my bonds. To you I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. You stand. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the will of my Father, says the Lord, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. Though when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus told her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, he lives. And anyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Do you believe this? And she said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Many people came to condole with Martha and Mary on account of the death of Lazarus, their brother, and among them was the Lord Jesus. 
However, everybody else could simply say to the two sisters, You are not alone in your grief. We are here to support you. But only the Lord Jesus was able to say, Lazarus, your brother, will rise again. What the Lord Jesus did for Martha and Mary, He now does for us. He comes to us today through the offering of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And what He said to Martha, He repeats to us, that Ida, our sister, will rise again. Only the Lord Jesus is able to give us the consolation of the resurrection, because only the Lord Jesus is the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. The Lord Jesus is the resurrection and the life, because though he died on the cross, he resurrected on the third day. And the resurrection of our Lord is the very source of the power and the assurance of our future resurrection. Now all of us will die one day. And the certitude of our death comes from our association with Adam. Just as in Adam, all die. However, the assurance or the certitude of our resurrection comes from our association with Christ. So in Christ, all will come to life. And it is the certitude of the resurrection that is the very reason why we bury our dead. Lang po ninyo, if there is no certitude that uh, Ida will resurrect, then don't spend too much on a burial anymore. Just throw away the body. Not that I mean irreverent, but you know, what is it that we do to things, appliances, gadgets that we can no longer use. You know, we throw them away. Now, if there were no resurrection, if there were no assurance of the resurrection, throw the body away. Because it would be really useless expense. But why is it that we bury our dead? We bury our dead because we know for a fact that one day Ida's body will resurrect from the dead. And in the cemetery, her body will sleep the long slumber of death until she is awakened by Christ on the morning of the resurrection. And while Ida's body is asleep in death, we do all we can to atone for her sin. And that is the reason why we have masses said for the dead. We do this to atone for her sins while she is asleep in death, so that when the morning of the resurrection arrives, Ida will not resurrect us to condemnation, but rather she shall resurrect us to eternal life. Please stand. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Dearly beloved, pray the sacrifice of mine and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord object to sacrifice our hands. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of Ida, your handmaid, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you. Mm -hmm. Lift up your hearts. Mm -hmm. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Mm -hmm. It is truly right and just, our good and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, 
For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join you there in one chorus of exultant praise as we appraise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. The blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, in this we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Honest our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember either a handmaid who have called for this world to herself. Grant as she was united with your son death like this, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy as all we pray. To the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints of teach you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the age of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Father, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. So the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let perfectful light shine upon her with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Holy Communion. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in sacrament of His body, food for the journey, merciful and God strengthened by it, I, our sister, may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently prepare the body of Ida, our sister, to be buried in human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that He will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father, and may she be happy forever with, with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Eternal rest grant unto Ida, O Lord. May she rest in peace. Amen. And God, my Savior, I know that my Redeemer lives, and on the last day I shall rise again. 
In my flesh I shall look on God my Savior. I myself shall see him, my own eyes will gaze on him. In my flesh I shall look on God my Savior. This is the hope I cherish in my heart. In my flesh I shall look on God my Savior. I know that my Redeemer lives, and on the last day I shall rise again. In my flesh I shall look on God my Savior. Let your response be, Lord, save your people. By your coming as man. By your birth. By your baptism and fasting. By your suffering and cross. By your death and burial. By your rising to new life. By your return in glory to the Father. By your gift of the Holy Spirit. By your coming again in glory. We commend Ida, our sister, to you, O Lord. Now that she has passed from this life, may she live in your presence. Welcome her to paradise and help us comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the choir of angels welcome you. For Lazarus is poor no longer. May you have eternal rest. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Good morning. Good morning.